Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, let's go back into Arena, and then this time I'm going to be using a team to hunt for magic users. This will be a little bit different from my usual Orlando hunting, but it can show it can pay to have a few different teams ready, so you can take on different opponents as you meet them in the arena. And I actually recorded this video already, uh, but I didn't realize until after I had done all the recording and the editing and stuff that Miranda had Jamming Thrust and Watera turned off. <laughs> What's funny is that I was winning all the fights anyway, uh, but the reason why I make these arena videos is so that I can show off characters, uh, so that I can show off their potential, and I wasn't showing off Miranda to her full potential, um, so we'll do the video again. The things I do for you, YouTube. <laughs> but I'm using Agrius and Christmas Mashiri and Miranda. And then uh, they all have a lot of magic resistance. It's just about 60% for all of them. Uh, Agrius, I'm giving her a sub job Holy Knight so that she can get uh, access to like full break and stuff. I don't think she'll ever use it, but she has access to it. And then uh, Christmas Mashidi, she is main job Dragoon. Um, and I'm going to do sub job Dragoon as well, just so that she can jump a lot, because that's the, uh, the type of character that I like. Then last is Miranda. I'm going to do sub-job Paladin with her, uh, but I'm going to turn off Attract Blade. I'm just going to use it for, like, Sentinel and the Immortal Spirit to raise her defensiveness. And then all of these Espers, uh, they all have 15% uh, magic resistance, so that's why I'm using those. And I guess the timeliness of this video is good for Global because Fenrir should be coming out this week. Uh, I consider him maybe the most essential vision card slash Esper, uh, along with Odin and Death Machine. Um, so I am going to pull for him in my global free-to-play account. Uh, hopefully he has that five-step guaranteed get banner. Uh, you don't need him. He gives your team uh, magic resistance. If you don't have it, you can just avoid uh, magic teams in PvP. Uh, but if you did have it, it would make easier to hunt those magic teams. All right, let's head in. Uh, first opponent, Mediana, Salia, and Kitafe. And I always mean to ask this, and I always forget, but let me know how you like uh, Kirufe or Agrius or Irudita, uh, some uh, recent kind of magic-related units. I'd like to hear if they live up to your expectations or if they exceeded them or whatever. <laughs> All right, Agrius casts uh, Regen. Uh, Miranda casts Immortal Spirit on herself. And then uh, Christmas Mashiri, she has the Grasada Trustmaster uh, to give her some AP boost. And then in the previous video where I go after Slash units, I did say that uh, finding teams with all three units having the same attack type is kind of uh, tougher these days. Uh, except for magic. It's much easier to find all magic teams. And then the, um, the characteristic of this map is that light attacks will get more damage. Um, so like holy and stuff, that will do uh, more damage. And then Kirufei will cast it on Miranda, but Miranda had the magic reflex, so we'll dodge that 100% hit attack. <laughs> And I really, really like Agrius and Christmas Mashidi because they are physical attackers, uh, but they have good magic resistance, which is an unusual combination. So if I do go after magic users, uh, those two are pretty great. It's pretty easy to get their magic resistance very high. And then I guess I could take this time to talk about uh, limited time seasonal units, uh, but they're tricky when you have a game that has two versions that are on two different schedules. Uh, when limited time units are released, they are designed so that they fit the current meta, um, so that they counter the right people, uh, so that they're not too powerful, that kind of thing. And so to release the same character at the same time in two versions uh, that can do the same stuff is almost impossible, I would say. Uh, if you were to do that, you'd probably have to nerf one of them so that they would fit the uh, the meta of the uh, the version that is a little bit behind. And then uh, people are going to be upset about having a nerfed unit. 
Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do uh, at Christmas, if they release Christmas Mashiri or Christmas Ramada uh, with the same skill set. If they did, they they might be a little bit outdated for the uh, the current meta. So they might give them a buff. I think the ideal situation, though, would be to just make Christmas Ramada and Christmas Mashiri JP only units, and then make all new seasonal limited time units for Global. Uh, that would be a lot more work uh, for the company, but I think uh, but I think Global players would be happy with it. You know, global being behind, they don't have a lot of uh, surprises coming their way. Um, so some global exclusive limited time units, uh, those would be fun. And it would also show that uh, the developers are uh, paying special attention to the global version. Okay, but the end of the last fight, we saw... Uh, Miranda's immortal spirit come into play, so that was nice. Alright, holy again there, but not too much damage. And then full life on Mediana. It was funny in the uh, previous video that I recorded with uh, Miranda with the skills off because uh, she kept using resist break and her limit break. And I was like, oh, that's funny. That's not what she usually does. <laughs> okay, there's Blade Bash. Uh, that was the better attack against Mediana because she's weak against uh, slash attacks rather than magic attacks. And that comes from her uh, Sentinel sub-job, so to have that um, versatility turn out to be useful there. And again there we got the uh, Magic Reflex. I was able to dodge another 100% hit uh, Magic Attack, the Energy Buster. <laughs> All right. And one of my favorite things to do in any Final Fantasy is to clear the stage uh, while the Dragoon is still jumping in the air. <laughs> that first happened when I played uh, Final Fantasy IV on the Super Nintendo and I thought that was so funny. It's cool that we can do it again here. <laughs> okay, last fight. Only three battles uh, this video. But this was an amazing battle. This was maybe the best that I've ever done in Arena. Uh, this is a very well put together team that I'm going against. It took my team to the limit. Okay, but Immortal Spirit again from Miranda. Uh, regen from Agrius. And the AP boost again on Christmas Mashiri. There's level 3 water. So that uh, Iridira has equipped uh, level 4 turns to level 3. So that will be very effective against my party. <laughs> All right, jamming thrust there, not a lot of damage. Even though I'm getting the element advantage, not a lot of damage on Rain there, so he's built pretty well. Okay, good damage on Irudira, but she heals. And then there's a uh, spirit buff. That means less magic damage for me. Okay, jamming thrust again. Again, not that much damage. Alright, Limit Break on Christmas Mashiri, that kind of did a lot of damage. And the Magic Reflex again, but it's still going to hit Christmas Mashiri and she goes down. Alright, Holy on Nobody. <laughs> Alright, that is the Magic Barrier self buff. Yeah, lots of holy, again, because of the, um, the characteristic of the map. Okay, Watera. Not a lot of damage. <laughs> and Faiga. And height 3, heal. All 
All right, and then silence on rain. I think that was pretty big. That really helped me in this fight. Uh, but yeah, there's a turn where he does nothing. And water again. Okay, let me break here. Okay, finally took down somebody. <laughs> Yeah, this fight was maybe the most impressive that I've ever seen uh, Irudita. And then Esuna on Rain to get rid of his silence. That's pretty good. Right, and then Rain is also getting the elemental advantage on Augurus as well, so he's not taking as much damage there. Okay, Blade Bash. Finally, some good damage on Rain. <laughs> Uh, there's that uh, different attack type versatility coming into play. Okay, another magic reflex. I love it. <laughs> Alright, finally take down Rain. Okay, Sentinel. And battle is done. I win the tiebreaker, so that was a really good fight. I'm really impressed uh, with that guy that I fought against. <laughs> Uh, later this week, I will do a 99 review of Dario, and then I will show off the 7 days of guaranteed UR pulls in Global. And for now, I think that'll be it. Uh, we'll wait and see what element uh, the Halloween Rire Rire is. If she's Dark Element, maybe I'll be tempted to pull her. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.